real No when they click click through to the shit and it's about to be a show be fun Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a Will Addict. Today, well, you already saw the intro, you already know what we're talking about, we're talking about this. <laughs> Well, these, 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 you might have seen these shoes before. These are some Doc Martens shoes. Yeah, these are probably the best shoes I have and the best shoes I've ever had. But we are not talking about the shoes. We are also not talking about this plate, which is a roll line blaster. The wheels are also roll line, ilium, but we are not talking about the wheels, the shoes, we're talking about the whole package. And what's special about this package? It's this thing, check this out. There's a hole in the back and when I press this hole, boom. These are by far, like honestly, these are by far the most convenient skates I've ever had. And I, I've, I received these skates I don't know, like nine months ago, something like that. And I've used it for a couple of different things. And today I'm going to explain you what I like about them and if there's anything I don't like about them. So I'm going to start by talking about the only thing that I don't like about them, which it might not make sense for you, but the only thing that I might not like about them, it's actually my favorite part which is the shoe i really 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 love this shoe but for the type of skating that i usually do well of course i knew it was not going to be the most supportive shoe i mean this is a shoe they made their stuff which i will talk in a minute but it's just a it's a low shoe and it's not something that i'm used to skate with so that was the only part that i struggled the most in fact it came to the point of not being supportive so much that it, when I filmed the intro of this video, if you look into my right shoe, it's not even tight. And I didn't even realize that it was not tight. But that's obviously my mistake. Now, these, I love them. The shoes are super, super comfortable. Of course, if I'm going to tight them a lot for the, the shoe to be tighter, they do hurt a little bit, but there's nothing to do with flanners. Flanners is the whole concept. How am I going to explain this? This is when you buy a pair of flanner skates, it's like, it's like buying Uber Eats, but for skates. Basically, they pick what you want, like the shoes, the, you have three different options of, of plates, you have different wheels, you have, depending on how much you want to spend, you can build your own skate. You can choose a shoe that it's more supportive than the Doc Martin Cavendish, but I love it anyway. But the thing is, this is what they created, which is very, very, very unique. 
And this system, man, here's how this works. I received these, as I said, about nine months ago, and the first time that I've ever tried them, I was actually struggling a little bit to put them on, and nowadays it's just so easy. Like, this is so well built. Like, check this out. Boom. And now, if you, especially if you have your foot on top, you just need to, boom. Obviously, you're not gonna have your shoe on your hand and doing these, like, with the weight of your foot, it's just easy. And then to take it off, you just press the little thing in the back, it to the side and, and it's honestly once again it's very convenient and the convenience comes because this shoe is obviously a fully walkable shoe this system that they integrate here yes this system is integrated by flanners and that's part of their concept when you buy the skate as i said like the uber eats of skates like the skate eats or the uber skates whatever you want to call it basically they make these in inside the shoes that they have on the website they have they have a couple of different options and they keep on updating depending on what's trending they make they make the shoes that are cool at the moment so the way that this system is made is the front one it has this little opened hole and a hook here on the skate and this hook it's just simple you just put it in it doesn't really uh, need to be in the exact angle it gives you a lot of freedom of the angle that you first hook it in and then yes then you're gonna need to center the back of the plate with the back of the skate and then you just press it in as I said previously if you have the weight of your body it just comes in very very easy and the thing is the plate the way that they made these this adjustment they could have done it like there's like there's like this layer of i don't know exactly what this is this is like a some sort of plastic like very very hard plastic i don't know exactly what this is with grip tape on top and then obviously the system that you see here but the way that they did is they could have done this shape very small like just the size of the plate because you can see the plate is much smaller. But what they did here is they made these almost the size of the shoe. And if you know anything about people that customize their own uh, roller skates by putting whatever shoes they want and what they do, what you need to do is usually you need to put like a, a plate, like an aluminum plate or some hard material plate inside your skate under your insole. With these you don't need because you still have this thing that covers the whole sole of your skate but it's outside and this is very cool because you can one day like example i said i love these shoes but imagine i want to keep this system and i want to i want to go to work with my skates every day but i don't want to use every single day the same shoes to work or after using it for a couple months it's going to start using the sole way too much well i can just go on the website and i can buy just the shoes i really love the concept it's really really it's 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 awesome if you look into the skating industry you will see there was a couple of different brands that tried to make this type of wearable shoe that turns into a skate there was a company in the 90s called Hypno, I think it was also French. That company, they have, they had a boot, like a, I don't know how to call it, like a, an adventure boot, like a, yeah, like one of those mountain boots, something like that. And then it would turn into an inland skate. There's other brands that made it, like uh, there was Shadow for aggressive skating. There was also Dupe from Power Slide. But as many of those skates that I tried, the more I say that this is actually the best way to make this concept work because it's very hard to walk with a shoe that it's supposed to be good for inline skating. It's just the way it is. Now, for roller skating, you do not need the same amount of support. And that's probably another reason why I went with the lowest shoe that they had on their catalog or on their website. This is really a regular shoe and it's like a shoe that, as I said previously, it doesn't offer you support. But even like that, you saw what I did on the video, like just skating fast, just you can skate through the city with this very, very easy. So the whole integration is perfect and you can choose whatever shoes and you, you go through these shoes, you go on the website, you buy just the shoes or if you live in Paris, you go to the shop, they have a shop in Paris where you can just go and I don't know if they have, I think they have already shoes there or you can order your own customized shoes there too. So 
it's it's really really cool and then they have three different packs that you can buy when you want to buy a pair of planners there's the basic there's the iconic and there's the premium the basic well the basic basically comes with a, as the name says like just a basic um, plastic plate and just some blank wheels let me just go here i, I bring my ipad here because i don't want to say anything that might be wrong but like um so the basic comes with 88 62 millimeter wheels 34 width it's important on a cruising skate to have some soft wheels if you're going to be cruising the city the basic come with a back five bearings then the next two versions they come with better plates because the 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 iconic series which is the they say here it's the intermediate comfortable and lightweight version it comes with the sure grip rock white or black trucks and then light dupont nylon toe stop carrera black well it comes with a sure grip rock plate that would be the iconic series and then if you get the premium series which is the one that was sent to me yes these skates were sent to me by flanners i did not pay for these skates they're not very cheap but i'll talk about the price in a minute but these ones come with a roll line blaster plate and i really love this thing man this is very very precise it's like if you look in the back you'll see on the top that skate was i helped with the design of that skate that's the kaya karma skate and that was a skate that was made for ramps ramp skating still being used nowadays i helped on that skate but on the previous version that's the last version the second skate that you have there it's my wife's skate and the smallest skate is my daughter's skate i've seen a lot of roller skates from derby to ramp skating to whatever and this plate it's different and it does feel different once again the best way to explain it it's very precise it's just very precise everything feels like quality then the wheels the wheels on the iconic and on the on the premium series they are also from roll line roll line is an italian brand so this is these ones have a, an injected plastic hub and then a, a 82a tire or urethane and either the iconic and the premium series come with a back seven bearings like everything is is really really high quality and when you put these on it's just it just feel like they want to roll these things are by far the fastest roller skates that i've ever had and i used to be a speed skater but i used to be a speed skater until i was 13 or 14 and i don't remember and i used to have good plates like bowen back then and a couple of it was always italian brands but i don't remember my roller skates my quad skates being this fast and this smooth so this is honestly a very very cool product so now let's talk about the pricing this is obviously not the cheapest skate but as i said during this video flanners is the whole concept if you're going to be paying just for the shoe just for the plate just for the wheels the bearings the toe stop if you're going to be paying for each one of these parts this would probably be more expensive than the cost of the skate and they integrate their own system and they do it for you because they need to open holes on this shoe they need to integrate in the sole that system the flanners system i'm calling it the flanners quick lock system i don't know the name of this i honestly don't know the name of it but they're integrating it for you and then if you're gonna get the basic as an example like imagine okay i said it wrong the first one is not called the, the basic it's called the first so the first comes with a rear roller injected plastic plate with some black ata wheels and you need soft wheels because this is a, a skate to to roll outside 62 diameter and with the a back five bearing like the bearings are awesome they're just the regular a back they're not like they don't they didn't win with those crazy name bearings but they just work they're amazing it feels so precise okay if you want to buy the flanners doc martin's cavendish black temperley that's the name of this it's a long name but it's due to the shoe that skate would cost you 405 euros and if you just go to the shop and if you just try to buy the shoe it's going to cost you 100 and something plus the plate 
I don't even know the price of this plate, but the whole thing without the system wouldn't be far from that price and the integrator system. If you want to go for the iconic, you're going to pay 70 euros more. So that would be 475 and you would get a sure grip plate and basically the same wheels. And if you want to go for the premium, which has the blaster plate by Rollline, it's, it's, it's just the best in my opinion. I, I've never skated anything this good, so yeah, for that you're gonna need to pay 165 euros more. So for this skate right here, this would cost you 570 euros. Is it expensive? Is. Is it worth it? Super. I really, really like it. And then let me just check if I want to buy just the shoes, if I want to just change my shoes. I go on the website, they have plenty of options from Vans to Adidas. Like imagine, I wanted to change just for this Adidas Super Court, this pink shoe for girl, this would cost 160 euros. If I wanted to change just the, just the boot, I wanted another pair of these Doc Martens Cavendish Black Temperley, this would cost me 185 euros. If I would want to buy this without the system, it would cost me just the shoe itself around 120. So. Yeah, I don't think it's that expensive for the amount of work they have here. And obviously we need to pay for the idea because it's amazing. <laughs> ah, and obviously when you buy it, it does come with this keychain, just a little thingy that you already know what it does. If you enjoyed this skate, if you want to check or learn more about the this concept, about this brand from Paris, France, well, you can go to the website on the top of the description. It's called Flanners. Flanners.com is the website. And I want to say thank you for Flanners for sending me this, for allowing me to test these awesome skates. And if you're looking into something that will allow you to go to work or something that is just very, very cool as a skate, this is it, man. This is really an amazing product and very happy that I had the possibility of trying them. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like it. It's gonna really help this video so that YouTube suggests this video to more people. If you didn't like it, you can give me a thumbs down and let me know what you didn't like about this video. Now, if you really like, if you're already subscribing to this channel, well, you can also support what I'm doing here with these videos and you can just press on that join button, become a member of this channel. By becoming a member, you'll get access to exclusive content, of course, and there's a couple of different perks from like private lessons and all that. You don't need to do it. If you want to support, you can do it, but I'm here anyway. With that being said, let's just finish this video how we finish every other video, and that's by saying, do not forget I'm just reminding you, do not ever forget why we all started skating. And that, that is because it's fun. Cheers and see you soon. I think you can flip with this. But the wheels are so bouncy that it might be better for front flips. Maybe not. Cheers. You got a little longer, so